In northern Yemen, medical workers say a U.S.-backed Saudi-led bombing raid on a residential neighborhood Wednesday killed 25 civilians while critically injuring nine others. A local doctor treated several children injured in the airstrikes. The only injured victims are all children. We received three or four people and eight martyred women and children. And today is a painful and sad day for the free Yemeni people. The Yemen Data Project estimates the Saudi-led coalition has carried out more than 21,000 airstrikes in five years of war, killing more than 8,700 civilians. Most of the raids were carried out with weapons sold by the United States. We'll have more on this report tomorrow on Democracy Now! Meanwhile, the United Nations is warning of a looming environmental disaster in the Red Sea, where a stricken oil tanker has been abandoned off Yemen's coast since the start of civil war five years ago. The vessels, loaded with more than a million barrels of crude oil, four times as much oil as spilled from the Exxon Valdez in 1989. U.N. Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator Mark Lowcock said Wednesday a spill would directly affect 1.6 million Yemenis. Essentially, every fishing community along Yemen's west coast would see their livelihoods collapse and would suffer substantial economic losses. About 90 percent of people in these communities already need humanitarian assistance.